So now things are getting better from a, a, a support point of view. And generally, this pandemic, they don't really feel, they're a bit scared about what's going on in the world. They're concerned for others, but not for themselves. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What you, what you like in Canada, Emma? Um, well, I was saying earlier, it's, uh, it's, well, it's much like how you guys are describing, although I don't feel like, so the kids, you know, schools and all that were canceled. Um, universities are, Bridget's programs um, are now online. Sandy and I, everybody's working from working home. Too, yeah. yeah, Cam does too. Like pretty much every company has ordered you to work from home. The, the grocery stores though, pharmacies, um, take out liquor stores. liquor stores, importantly, um, yeah. even, even the <laughs> cannabis stores, of course, here in Canada are open. Oh, um, Canada. Also very important. <laughs> Can't do without so, that. Yeah. No. <laughs> we have priorities <laughs> here. Yeah. <laughs> so I still have open, like, <laughs> like, I mean, shopping yeah. malls <laughs> is, um, uh, like our, our lives are impacted, but we're still able to function. As you say, JP, your mom lived through the war. I mean, when we think about times like this, that, to me, this is, we're still kind of, you know, we have uh, everything we want at our fingertips, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wish that, I wish that my mom would also remember how bad it was for her during the war, because She's kind of acting like a 16 year old and she's sort of like, well, I'm just going to go for a walk and I'm just <laughs> going to go into the store. That's, that's like, what, yeah. You know, yeah, that's what Nana wants to do too, Michael. Uh, yeah. It's very uh, uh, hard to get her to understand that, you know, she lives in, a, in an elderly, uh, what are they called? Hospice. Community. Like an elder, elderly community. Yeah. And, you know, she, she may not care about getting infected herself, but she could bring it to all those people. Yeah, yeah. And so it's just very hard to convince her. To convince her, but sure. We're trying how old is your how old is your mom? How old is she? She's eighty five. Eighty five. Eighty five. Well. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And is she in good health apart from that? She she's in yeah, good health. She yeah. is. Yeah. Good. Apart from, well, from and and send issues. her send her our love. I yeah, will. Those I will. Yeah. Amazing stories from Amandola. Yeah, <laughs> we're 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 really we're staying in touch with those people in Amandola. We're trying to you know help them as best we can because they they're pretty much part of the family. Sure. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Helen, how are things in London? How are they in London? They're um, a little bit. They're more or less like Italy. I mean. You don't get stopped by the police, but everything is shot. And they say statistically we're about exactly the pattern is two weeks behind Italy. So um, although things seem to be easing off a little bit in Italy, they're definitely not easing off here for a few weeks. But um, one of the things that I think is psychological blow is during the Battle of Britain, when the Nazis bombed London for about 15 months straight, the pubs were still open, but even they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a, a terrible blow to the nation. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, that's saying something. Well, what about the cannabis dispensaries? About which? What about the, <laughs> the cannabis dispensary? Oh, in London? Yeah. What's... The cannabis dispensary, did you say? Yeah. yeah. Do they have those yeah. in London? No, they don't. Is that, do they have no. those in New York? What a backward society. They, they do <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, Massachusetts has them. <laughs> and Massachusetts is the most like Puritan state in the union. We're still like, you know, clo you can't buy liquor on Sundays in some places. So it's very sure. interesting. Oh my God. Yeah. That's sad. They're, yeah, conservative in a lot of ways. Because everyone's at church, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it was Georgia. I thought it was Georgia that, that got that uh, that record on on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Marco, keep up, keep up the good name of your state, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, 
Yeah, I'm sure, but don't let us down, huh? <laughs> so, so, how is, how is Bill and Una? How, how are Bill? Maya, come on, we have to go to bed. They're, they're guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Maya to bed. I'll talk okay, to you later. Right. Okay, bye, Caroline. 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 Bye, Bye, I'm going to take off as well because I've got to go to um, actually work. So yeah, for I sure. Will see you guys Bye, later. Folks. Maybe Bye, Sunday. Bye-bye. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow Bye. wherever we can. And tell my, me about Bill and Luna. Hey, she left. Yeah, they're, they're doing uh, – my mom and dad just came back. They were down south it, near yeah. where Marco is. Yeah. Um, and so anybody who's coming into Canada probably looks the same in every country. You have to uh, self-isolate for two weeks. So oh. – um, for my mom, this is like torture. Mm -hmm. um, uh. <laughs> and so they're in a condo. Uh, yeah, they're kind of going nuts, but um, mm -hmm. you know they're getting through it. So I think they have another week left of that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Although, although they told me my dad went downstairs to get the mail, and I guess a lady saw him, and she was outraged that he uh, dared to leave his condo. So. My mom got a phone call from this lady uh, <laughs> demanding. No way. Oh my God. Yes. That, that's what they need. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the COVID 19 police. <laughs> <laughs> He's so. such a rebel. Poor Rona. <laughs> you know, Billy, he can't obey the rules ever. No. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you getting food from him? Yeah, well, I'm going uh, tomorrow to get some food, I left some food for them before they came back. Um, and I think, I don't know if they picked up food as well, but anyways, I'm getting them some food tomorrow. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Say, say hello to them, uh, Emma. We miss them. Sometimes they stop on their drive back from Hilton Head to see uh, us. So we missed them this yeah. year. Um, it's nice to see you and Jean. I remember that, I, it's so bad. I remember seeing you guys, what, for uh, our Justin. wedding. Yeah, your wedding that's and Justin's right. wedding. Oh, that's right. More recently, yeah. 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 I Justin, know we... how, how's the move going? Uh, yeah, we uh, uh, Cindy's going to sign the contract on, uh, on uh, probably this week, Friday, with uh, Potsdam, Potsdam, uh, upstate New York. Mm -hmm. Good. And uh, so we probably should have to get her uh, New York medical New York license. State medical license and yep. uh, they figure that takes a few months. We don't know if it's going to be slower or quicker because of the, uh, the COVID because I think they're fast tracking some of that. But um, but besides that, she was slated to uh, work. Uh, she just came back from Alaska. So she's been doing that for a while, uh, commuting to Alaska one week a month to work um, because they wouldn't, uh, we couldn't get her license here. Yeah, it's kind of what move, what move is this, Justin? Sorry, I, I, uh, I, we're gonna we're uh, so um, I'm not sure if you know. So my wife Cindy's a pediatrician, sure. and, and she's American, and uh, so she's last three years we've been trying to get her certification here to work in Alberta, and it, it's just been getting the runaround. But it was sort of uh, we've been in recession for a couple of years, two three years, and uh, we're like oil country. We're like a North Texas sort of. So we uh, sure. Um, so they've been they've got an austerity government in now and so they're chopping so basically we just figured out <clears throat> they didn't come out and say it but we figured out that they're just not going to be uh giving sponsorship for foreign doctors anytime soon so we started right. looking elsewhere and the other place only other place in canada is uh cape breton which is uh, just part of nova scotia mm -hmm. which is on the other coast mm -hmm. and uh which is fine yes. um and there was a few other places where we're gonna go look i said to her hey let's move somewhere warm for once and uh, so we're going to look at Tucson, Arizona, and then I, and I thought, yeah, that's uh, too warm. Um, <laughs> so we canceled that. We'll probably go visit. But anyway, did so she, did up? she connect? Did she connect with my friend Chris on the contract? We didn't get a hold of her. I, uh, we, I, I mean, we, I, I emailed her. I phoned her office, and we didn't get a reply. So we're not. She, sure. Yeah, she's. You know what? I'll uh, I'll show you her cell number. She's not in the office. They have a place up at Lake George. That's where she's been. Yeah, so. she like I don't know. Like I mean, is she all right? Is, is she gonna be feel like we're bothering her? Or, uh... No, not at all. Not at all. Okay, hey, yeah. Justin. So uh, no, sorry, you were you were breaking up a little for me. So where are you physically now? Mm, we're in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. Oh, okay. Canada. Canada. Um, and uh, 
So we're going to move to upstate New York. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so it's a small college town called Pottstown. Yeah. It's